What is up, boys? Uh, we are back here with another opening. This time we're opening up a Light of Destruction 2020 uh, date. The, I, it's weird. This, that's the name on TCG Player. So they say Light of Destruction 2020 print or date or something like that. But it, we're in 2024. Kind of odd, but I think it just means that it has the 2020 date on the card. Um, but anyways, yeah, so it got reprinted, which is awesome. In my opinion, though, it should have been uh phantom darkness or the one the set right before this because i had a lot more fun in the opening of that set i have so many good memories in that set i actually don't remember opening up too much of this product when i was younger i think it was around the time where i was kind of giving up Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest um so yes anyways we are in boys Woo! blast from the past Yes, indeed. I don't remember the pull rates, man. And okay, there we go. I also never opened up a box as a kid. This is really cool, man. Bringing back a lot of memory. Okay, so, yeah, Lorian boys, let's do it. Should have been Phantom uh, Darkness, though. Uh, we got The Lovers, Gladiator Slash, Space Gift, nice. Cross Porter, hell yeah, let's go. And Jinzo Lord, yeah, okay, I remember pulling this, actually. I think it was from, like, a special edition box, though, not from a pack. It's kind of crazy that I remember that. Wow, okay, yeah, Jinzo Lord, not the greatest. A lot of the Jinzo stuff that we have been seeing is actually not that good, um, which is unfortunate, right? But Summon Limit as a common. Let's go, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, that is right. We can get all T's. And it's the OG style alties too. That's awesome. Um, and what I mean by that is like they they aren't like the maybe I should have gotten an, an OTS alti to compare, but OTS alties have the borders kind of more holographic. These do not, and it, they're it's kind of damaged. I feel like um, on the on the borders there, but uh, holy okay. And it still has the same problems that we have in the OTS land, where it gets uh, imprinted through the uh, the back there. But holy, so is it one per box? I think it's one per box. So, I mean, it's not that crazy. Although, I think that pulling this card in particular is kind of crazy. I think this is going to be a chase. The Light Sworn cards, definitely chases. I just don't remember if that card in particular is good in Light Sworns, right? So... Uh, the Fool, Singwin, or Singween Swamp, Rage and Cloudian, and then we got Temperance Rare. Cool. That is crazy. So I think you might be able to do one Secret Rare in here, and then it's like four Ultras, and then some, like, six Supers? Maybe? We'll see. The Magician, then we got uh, Disc Blade Rider Rare. Let's go. Okay. I also do think that all the cards can come in as ultimate, except the secret rares. Actually, there's ghost rares in here too, right? But yeah, I remember, I, I, I yeah, I, I didn't pull Honest as a ghost rare. I have him as a secret rare, actually. I pulled him, I remember this as well. I pulled it from one of the, um, the, the 5Ds tins, believe it or not. The 5Ds tins, the first wave of the tint had Light of Destruction in it. Okay, secret rare time. I don't remember this card either. Aetherin, Light Sworn Monk. This is a very Light Sworn centric opening. I, I wish it was on honest, if I'm gonna be completely honest here. Haha. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you, I think you can get a ghost rares in here, but it, I think it's kind of rare. I gotta, I gotta look at these pull rays, man. But I mean, she looks cool. Honestly, I don't ever remember seeing her. In like a deck profile or anything. Not that I look at light sworn deck profiles, but that that artwork is just not you know it's not registering with me. So I don't think it's expensive, but I mean I'll still take it. Space gift, uh, a miracle flipper, and then a super rare light sworn druid. Yeah, very light sworn focus indeed. I don't remember this card either. That is crazy, man. There's a lot of cards in here. I do remember him and her or him. I don't know. But, yeah, so like I said, I, did, I really didn't open up that many of this product when I was a kid. It was mainly Phantom Darkness. And, uh, I mean, it's actually kind of nice reliving it now here. Froggy Force Field. Okay. But, I, oh man, I really hope I pull Honest, man. That's the cover card. It's, uh, I mean, yeah. 
it's it's my chase for sure. What else can you pull in here? I think there is um uh there's a hero in here that I, I kind of want to pull. I'm blanking out his name. It's one of my favorite heroes too. Plasma Vice. Plasma Vice. He might be in here. Actually, now I'm kind of second guessing myself. He might not be in here. I'm pretty sure he's in here. I don't know, man. De Demise of the Land. Okay, actually, that's a pretty good reprint. I think I already pulled it a couple times, but it was a... Yo, let's go. Destiny and Dragoon. That is right. This was in here. Dude, I'm, bu I'm buying more boxes because... Oh, can you imagine this as an ulti? Yo. I might be buying a lot of boxes, guys. This is this is really nice. I think this is a lot better than reprinting most of the old school packs, right? Because we we got four boxes, I think, reprinted last year from the DM era. And maybe they all didn't deserve to be printed again, right? There wasn't much um, that those cards can do. And there was no cool cool alternatives like ultimate rares and ghost rares and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so Raging Cloudian, Flame Spirit, Ignis rare. That's cool. All right, last pack on this side, but holy, we've been pulling some pretty decent cards. I mean, that ulti is actually still... Like, I'm pretty sure it's one of the better ultis, but could be wrong here. Vanquishing Light, super rare, nice, and it has that reflective border. I guess they did have that back in the day. It's it's somewhat reflective. The the AE or the um, Asian English cards have that as well, which I think I'm uploading this video before those videos. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned on the channel, guys. There's a lot of, uh, well, two Asian English packs that I've opened already, filmed, and ready to ship, but I haven't pressed the upload button. Well, uh, look out for those. Wolf Light Sworn Beast. Super rare. Yeah, no, I mean, even the pull rates are a lot better on this compared to, like, LOB and stuff like that. Yeah, th this is the way to go, Kanavi. I'm glad they did this. The, yeah, they should have done one from every single um, generation. So, like, they could have done this for the GX, right? They could have done the DM, uh, or LOB for the DM, and then pick a 5D set, pick a, uh, the Xyz <laughs> one set, and so on and so forth, right? It would have been a lot better than just printing uh, LOB spell ruler and all that stuff. Summon limit again, let's go. Arcana Force and a Dark Valkyrie. So there's still some dark um, archetypes, or some, some more cards that support the dark archetype which was introduced in Phantom Darkness. Really OP, by the way. That's why I think it should have been that one. Also, I want a Rainbow Dark Dragon. Um, I think it was a Ghost Rare, as a Ghost Rare. Golden Ladybug Rare. All right. Ooh. Speaking of uh, my Rainbow freaking Dragon, that is Rainbow Dark Dragon, right? Activate only if you have seven Crystal Beaten. Maybe not. Okay. It looked like it. Maybe, maybe the artwork is of him, but it doesn't support rainbow and dark dragon or the dark archetype miracle flipper the emperor the moon and then uh some more bird of ancestry that might be the first time uh some more i think this card is actually kind of expensive i was looking at prices and there was a common frog card that was kind of expensive so i'll put it to the side for now uh it might be short printed maybe that's why or you know people just not listing it and there's no listings uh, inflating the value and all that stuff. Spell gear, demise of the land, uh, hero mask. I keep seeing that one. Jinzo, returner rare. That looks that looks pretty scary actually. Like what? That's a failed experiment if I've ever seen one. Okay, come on, man. I haven't pulled. Oh, I did pull a secret rare. So maybe one more ultra rare. And please, ghost rare. Please. Uh, oh, mo no, these guys were uh, sticking together here. Cross Porter and Helios tries Magistus. So I actually remember there was a game where the the Uno and the Doze, the first one and the second one, were introduced, and uh, the Golden Homunculus. I, for I forgot the game, but I remember the promos very well. Uh, Lucky Change, we got a Nimble Musabi little uh, sugar glider or whatever they're called there. That's cool. All right, so two, uh, three packs. Come on, man. I'm, I'm definitely buying more of these, man. 
Oh, man. I hope you guys don't get bored of this on the channel. Uh, Miracle Flipper. Union Attack. Oh, man. This was used by Yugi. If I remember this correctly, I'm pretty sure Yugi used this to destroy Slifer, didn't he? He, he like, used um, the Magnet Warriors or some god. It was during the, the final match in, in the DM, in the Duel Monsters anime. I'm pretty sure that's what happened, but I don't know. i got to rewatch it. Couple base, we got the moon, lucky change. Oh, there we go. So we got an ultra rare and a uh, secret rare. So I'm pretty sure this is actually one of the chase cards in, in here, but I gotta really refresh my memory here. It, if it is, that deserves a like, holy shit, man, that is cool. All right, so last pack here. I doubt we can get another secret rare because we already pulled a secret rare. And that's actually, the, the pull rates are. Now, now that I'm thinking of it, they're kind of bad. No? Oh, we'll do a recap at the end here. It's owner Seal Rare. Cool. Awesome. All right, so quick recap here. Well, first of all, here uh, on the comments, I actually probably missed a couple summon limits, but imagine opening up, cracking a box, and having th three copies of summon limit, like off the hop. If, if it were today, right? modern day Yu-Gi-Oh, right? This card would be a secret rare, <laughs> and you would probably need, like, two cases, like one and a half cases to try to get three copies of it. Konami really has um, problems, to say the least. All right, so we got quite a bit of super rares, actually. <clears throat> so the the uh, the majority of these are going to be rares for sure, and I, that was expected. But, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. We got Lightsworn Druid, Jinzo Lord, Union Attack, Trice, and Beast, and Vanquish Light. So that is six super rares, one secret rare, two ultra rares, and then a um, an ulti. So comparing it to, like, LOB, you would get, I think, two less super rares, and then two more ultra rares, and then one secret rare, and then you wouldn't get an ulti. So that's actually, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of mixed on the the, uh, the pulls here, but you also can pull a ghost rare in here, unless they change that. So, yeah, some buy more boxes, guys. Make sure you guys don't miss out on this as well. Catch you guys in the next one.